So, dogs are expensive. I have a young, eight-month-old, approximately 60-pound Doberman, who's going to be a, probably about an 80-pound Doberman. I've never totally looked at how much money I spent. With my last dog, he was about a 70-pound uh, dog. I never have actually looked at the amount of money I, I spend, but it's a lot, okay? And there are some ways to save so much money for basically the exact same products, and it's almost as easy or easier than maybe what you're, what, what you're doing now. So there's a, here's a few things, and it's gonna save you a ton of money, all right? This, I'm very excited about this post. I was at PetSmart the other day. You're not gonna believe this first one. I was at PetSmart the other day, and I use a lot of gentle leaders. That's this thing right here. At PetSmart, this gentle leader was $32.99. $32.99. If you go to Amazon, this is $15. Deliver to your house the next day. That is, that's a lot of money when you can get the exact same thing delivered to your house. I don't know who's going to PetSmart and buying this stuff. It's not me, okay? When it's marked up like that, that's crazy, all right? So that's your first thing right there. Gentle Ears are a great product. You can get them way cheaper on Amazon. All right, the next big one, and this is gonna be way bigger over the life of your dog, and especially the first year of your dog. So I told you I have a, a, a 60 pound dog. He's young, guess what young big dogs do, and young little dogs, they chew a lot. Okay, you gotta give them chew toys, and I don't mean toys like squeakies, I mean things to ingest. If you've ever heard my talk, it's bully sticks, marrow bones, food filled frozen Kongs. Those are the safest, most reinforcing, and long lasting things you can buy. Okay, go back, I have a talk on that on my YouTube page. So, if you go to a pet store, you are gonna get a marrow bone that's not even this big, or excuse me, a bully stick that's not even this big, it's about, I saw it today, it's about this big for $8. Guess what, what I have here, $8 per. That's what I have here. From Costco, 12 bully sticks, excuse me, 15 bully sticks, no, 12, 12 bully sticks for $32. I have this written down. That's an $8 difference, excuse me, a $5 difference per bully stick. Boss, um, um, my dog Prince, he goes through a bully stick every day, almost once a day, let's just say five a week. That's $25 a week, that's $100 a month. That's crazy, that's a lot of money to be saving a hundred dollars a month. That's cable. That's a cable bill right there on bully sticks. Okay, now most people that go, go to these stores, they're not gonna purchase an eight dollar bully stick and give it every day. But guess what you should be? You should be giving a bully stick every day or a Kong every day with food in it or a marrow bone. You should be giving something. Okay, so if you can get them cheap, you're more apt to do it, which is gonna have your dog, your dog's gonna be better behaved and all that. All right, bully sticks. Over a year, I, I, if, I, if I just buy Costco bully sticks over store-bought bully sticks, I'm gonna save $400, okay? That's assuming I'm gonna give a bully stick about every third day or so, or every, yeah, every other day. All right, this is a marrow bone. Buy it from the butcher, not from the store. If you go to a store, you're gonna buy about four of these. You're gonna get about four of these in a package. Marrow, they have marrow inside, usually. They're super healthy for your dog, super awesome for your dog. At a butcher, they can cut them this much. I think the butcher down the street has this giant bag of them for like $12. You're gonna, that's way cheaper than you're gonna buy anywhere else. And then guess what you're gonna save on? You got this empty marrow bone, guess what you can do with it? Take wet food, fill it up, put it in the freezer. Save money on Kongs. Kongs are about $9 a piece. This holds almost as much as a Kong, okay? Now, the last one. This could be your biggest money maker, but it's not apples to apples. These are all apples to apples. These bully sticks are the same anywhere you buy them. This is the same, they're just cheaper. This one's not apples to apples, but still, you can save about $600 a year 
$600 with a dog the size of mine, let's say. So I am a fan of this company. I like them. I think they're good. Origin. They probably make the best kibble out there. However, a bag, the biggest bag of this Origin is about $80. I'm going to go through once one of those about a month with my dog, maybe even more than that. $80 for a big bag. You go to Costco, this bag right here, same size bag, about $32, I think. That's a big difference. 50 bucks a month, comes out to about $600 a year. Now, like I said, that's not apples to apples. Here's the difference. That is a little better of a product. I'll admit it, $600 is also a lot of money. So you gotta make that choice. I'll read you the ingredients. And by the way, when I pick a food, that's all I do. I read the ingredients. Here's the Costco brand. Turkey meal, sweet potatoes, peas, potatoes, canola oil, flaxseed, natural flavor, salmon oil. It's fine, it's good, okay, it's good. This is the origin fish. I, I have fed my dog this in the past. Deboned chicken, deboned turkey, Atlantic flounder, whole eggs, whole Atlantic mackerel, chicken liver, turkey liver, a lot of protein. It's a good product, okay? Is it worth $600 a year? Maybe it is, okay? Maybe it is, maybe it's not, right? That's, that's a lot of money for a lot of people, for most people in fact, okay? So, just with the bully sticks, changing the bully sticks, going to cheaper versions of marrow bones and a gentle eater, you're in the like $500 a year range. If you completely wanna change your do the food for your dog, you add $600, that's $1,000. So guys, I hope this helped. I hope you can save some money. Dogs are expensive. There's other ways to save money, but video's already getting too long and we just need to get down to the big stuff, okay? So, hope that helps.